welcome. Now, this is what Michael Strahan's life would have been like every day had we not uh, plucked him out of this den of testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> we just consider ourselves his weekend family. You have him during the week. It's, it's very funny. Somebody floated the idea to me just this morning that you cheat on me on the weekends with these mm -hmm. fellows. <laughs> if I were going to cheat, it would be with nobody right here. <laughs> You've worked together the longest. Right. Uh, 20 years this 20 year. Years. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. And so you It's like marriage without the payoff. What would be the payoff? Like yeah. divorce? It's been a while. Been huh? a while. <laughs> but I understand that Michael and uh, J Jimmy, you've almost worked together before. In oh, yeah. You know, I was with the Cowboys. Okay. I wanted Michael to be a Cowboy. So I brought him to Dallas the week before the draft. Mm -hmm. I put a scout in his home. I was going to draft him. Yeah, but unfortunately for me, the Giants took him before I could no. take him. I was going to take him. No, no, no. Mm. You sent the scout to my house. Right? You promised me you were taking me. I, I thought going I was going to, to Dallas, him. and then you traded the pick when it was your turn. I, then the Giants <laughs> picked me after. <laughs> So you know I had to ask him, Jimmy, what happened? He goes, I didn't know you were going to be that good. I was going to take you in a later round. Oh, you wanted to get me cheap. I want to get you cheap. Jimmy, as your attorney, I suggest you say nothing else. Now, there's eight Super Bowls between you. Who has the most Super Bowl rings? Are you wearing them all? No, I, I don't wear them. I actually donated them to Louisiana Tech so they could put them on display. Oh, that's terrific. So, yeah. That's actually good. I don't, I don't ever wear them, so I thought they could do some good there. Does anybody wear yeah, them? Here you go. Oh, my, oh yeah, you my can gosh. Have, you can have mine. Oh, my gosh. I've got another one. You, oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know what? See, that, that one there, everybody has a nice ring. That's what you call a 10-table ring, okay? So when you can, we're sitting at a dinner table, they can see it from 10 tables away. That's what I'm talking about. Incredible. These are also what? special. No, no, watch this. Let me because swallow Kelly, these. Kelly came over and asked me for my Super Bowl ring. Right. Watch this. I have the only ring that matters. Oh. <laughs> I had a couple of those. <laughs> you had a couple of those. So now, what do you think about the Super Bowl this year? It's going to take place on the East Coast, where uh, weather conditions are notoriously horrible. Uh, the Farmer's Almanac says it could be a blizzard. What do you think? Yeah. And, and the Farmer's Almanac is 80% correct. And yeah. being a farmer, we go by it. Yeah. And uh, it is actually, we keep the logs on my ranch from year in to year out, month to month, day to day, and it's not that far off. Who yeah. keeps those logs? Huh? My office, I don't keep logs. <laughs> <laughs> My people, people keep logs. His people keep but logs. But it, it's, eight, for, for all of you out there, it's 80% accuracy, which is pretty amazing. I don't yeah. think it makes that a difference, far, though. As a player, does it make a difference? I mean, as a fan, maybe, it's a little cold, but I know Jimmy hates cold weather. I but. hate cold weather. Me too. But true story, we are in Green Bay a couple years ago. I took a glass of water before we started our show. Yeah. I poured it in the cup, and at the end of the show, I turned it upside down. It was frozen solid. Incredible. That's incredible. And that's that what was, we went through. Yeah. And that was our game. Yeah. Yes. 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 I, don't really, I feel like that's dangerous for the players. You can really get hurt if your extremities are numb and you're crashing into each other. But they're playing it during the playoffs. I mean, so the Super Bowl is really the only game where conditions are controlled. During the playoffs, you had to play that championship game in Green Bay. They've done a lot of cold weather. Right. Players yeah, are fine. Right. It's the broadcasters yeah. sitting in Times Square yeah. oh, for five yeah. hours. Yeah. That's who you have to feel bad for. You know, not the concussions. So it's, it's not, us. It's, it's really not difficult the players. It's us. really the broadcasters. No, but you just sit there. When, when you're playing, <laughs> when you're playing, it's it's not bad. Michael played in that game up in Green Bay. Oh, it was, it was about bad. twenty-five yeah. dollars. I don't know who you're talking about. It was bad. It was cold. I was running down the line about to hit Ryan Grant, and I'm like, I don't want to hit him. I, don't want to hit him. <laughs> I had to hit him, but I didn't want to hit him. You said that there was like livestock, right? Frozen in its tracks or something, didn't livestock you? Livestock frozen in the tracks. I don't know. No, who I, is it? You know, I, I like to say, whenever it's cold like that, what do they tell you? You say, B, if it was cold, they say, bring your animals in the house, get your dogs in, get your cats in. 
They're like, oh, football players, go play football, entertain people. <laughs> well, you know, the, the rule of thumb, once again, back to farming, <laughs> is that if you, if you put a certain pound, pounds of protein and fat on an animal, it can sustain life below like 10 or 15 below zero. Oh. Human beings, that's why big linemen, for, for instance, in cold weather, aren't nearly as cold as guys like myself who are chiseled, raw. <laughs> Um, we're we're going to play a little game when we get back because I want to ask you all some questions. Oh I want to get to the bottom of all of this because I am fascinated by your relationship, your dynamic. We're going to play super the Super Bowl of questions when we return.